Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have another bombshell tarot reading. We do, right? We had to add the shell in today. We did. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. And uh, we have the magician here and he's got the key inside of his, his crystal ball. Uh, really interesting. And this book here uh, is kind of, that's what the key is too, right? The book is already open. So this book is, you know, you could think of it as, uh, as a diary if you would like, uh, but it is definitely the book of knowledge, the book of secrets, things like that. It sure is. Uh, mm -hmm. And this key will provide some stability because we see the number 31 and that is a four. Uh, and that's what fours are about. Yeah, they are. And uh, mm -hmm. so before we begin, Capricorn, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They are accurate. I'm a silver grad. And then we do the tarot spread at the end. Lots of fun. They are very eye-opening uh, for sure. If you don't know somebody, you don't trust them or, you know, or you're just trying to find out a little bit about them. Definitely, uh, we have the insight from the, uh, the psychic reading. And then we have unique insight as well from the tarot reading. This is how we do it. So you really find out. You really get the scoop on them, Capricorn. You do. And if you want a free five-minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, you may always get one of those. And, uh, yeah, and uh, mm -hmm, that link is below. If you would like a tarot reading unto itself, uh, you may have one of those. Yeah. So, Capricorn, we see this woman, and uh, she's, she doesn't, she's not wearing any clothes because she's very comfortable. Uh, and she looks like she's kind of praying. She has her head down and she's definitely been in reflection. The lotus flowers are below her and here is the dragonfly. Uh, and she's kind of sitting above this kind of water uh, on this kind of, I mean, I don't want to call it a stand, but it has a clock to it. And it also has uh, kind of a threshold here. Uh, and it's really interesting here how uh, these are very big. And they are these numbers, some of these numbers, and we start with the, the big numbers here are three through eight. Um, mm, that's pretty interesting. I feel like it is. And uh, this is about two people. It's the number 38 and we have two, uh, right? We reduce. And uh, mm -hmm, interesting how six is the biggest number here. And six is basically uh, about give and take and sharing and generosity. Uh, and in this uh, card, she is very much at peace with the universe. It's like she struggled before and she came to a place and she just has like accepted something and she feels at one now and uh, at peace with the universe, right? Mm -hmm, she does. And here's Walter. I don't know if you guys remember Walter Mercado. He's passed away now, but he was a Puerto Rican uh, astrologer. Yeah, and I used to watch him when, you know, uh, I didn't understand a terrible amount of Spanish. I do now, <laughs> but I got his little gist usually. Uh, he was kind of funny uh, and he was good. Yeah, he was. And uh, yeah, very entertaining, right? He'd come out with his whole astrologer outfit on and yeah, t definitely. And so this man looks just like him. He, he does, uh, maybe younger, uh, but or maybe that's supposed to be a woman, but I feel like it's a man here, but it doesn't really matter uh, either way. No. Uh, but, you know, this key that he's kind of, you know, presenting, he's, he's saying, look, I have the key to uh, the secrets in my life or the book of secrets, the book of knowledge. And this lady is definitely learned here because she's at peace with the universe. Yeah, she didn't just, you know, well, when she came out of the womb, she was already at peace. And then, you know, she got in, she got, uh, what do they call that, assimilated into society and went to school. And, you know, that's when it starts to go away. It definitely does. Uh, but you know, she's a piece and over here he has the key. And so this is, you know, very, uh, very interesting. And here's like a telex machine. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but, uh, there's words here on this strip that is kind of like kind of on this wheel. Uh, and so this is the messages are here, right? Uh, they, they really are. And, uh, in this book. And so this is the key, the message here. Somebody has like revelations. Uh, they do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we have the winter's dream Capricorn, and this is gestation period. This is, you know, winter's about up here, uh, almost. We have another month, uh, here in the Northern hemisphere. Yes, we do less than a month. Wow. And so I'll definitely be happy for that. 
uh, and so we've had enough rain we have here and so uh, but the winter's dream the gestation this is like the gestation period this means that this person was like in solitude or waiting for some time to pass this gestation period yeah mm -hmm. and then here's the joyful muse here he is capricorn and he said, let's go paint, right? And then he said, or we'll play the violin, the joyful muse. This is inspiration. Uh, and this person is very inspired by you. Yeah, they are. And, you know, back here, we have the 63 for the winter's dream gestation period, gestation. And this is an, uh, an ending because it's a nine. It's a completion. And the joyful muse who was so excited and, you know, passionate about his hobbies here. Uh, you know, is the 33. And this is, uh, this is about something that's a priority. So you are a priority to this person, Capricorn. And here they are uh, doing a backflip for you, holding their, uh, their pentacle, right? You can see their tights and all that. And, you know, I don't agree with that, right? On camera. <laughs> and so here he is though, doing a backflip. This person's going to do backflips for you. That's what that's about. Uh, and they're going to show you I feel like how inspired they are by you and uh, most likely how, how uh, valuable, how much they, you know, how important you are to them because the pentacles are values. And over here is the sun. And the sun is, you know, uh, you know, a bunch of things and it is, and this is about stability as well. But there's some clarity in this reading and this person is going to do backflips here because they, you make them happy and you inspire them. Yeah, maybe you wear glasses like that, Capricorn, with little uh, kind of butterflies on them, right? Yeah, it's hilarious, right? But hey, and so, you know, and so this person wants to be happy with you. They're going to they're gonna show you. They're going to do backflips for you. And there's some type of message in here. It is doesn't look like it's that fun of a message. I'm not sure who this is. This is not you. There could be an external party here. This is a 14. It's a 5, and this is difficult change. That's what it is, right? It's hard to change a $5 bill. If nobody has change. <laughs> and so, yeah, it could be difficult. I'd rather change a hundred right here. And so the occupation card is here and this is contemplation and introspection. This is somebody who's very preoccupied with you. Yeah. So she's preoccupied with her sewing and you know, she's, you know, I don't think she's so much of a seamstress. Uh, I think she's, this is more of her hobby. Uh, but this is about somebody who is uh, very like uh, enthralled with you or they have their mind on you. Definitely. They're preoccupied with you, which really means kind of a worry, doesn't it? Yeah. At least in Spanish it does. All right. So let's see what we have. And we see here that somebody is very inspired, the inspiration and the occupation card. <clears throat> You're definitely, excuse me, occupying their heart. I would say you are. And something ends here, the winter's dream gestation period. So yeah, we start down here, Capricorn. We're using a different deck today and we have the ace of pentacles. And this is, you know, a new beginning or an opportunity for one. And it is one that is stable. And we see it if something, somebody's doing backflips, right? They're not going to do back unless, you know, they're a circus a uh, clown or something like that, but you know, mm -hmm. or maybe some people know how to do those. That's not, but not, not many. And so, you know, this person's offering you something and we see it's something really, really wonderful. Cause look how big the pentacle is. So this is, uh, you know, why they are doing, uh, ready to do backflips for you. Right. Mm -hmm. And you could be saying, I need you to walk on your hands. Right. Yeah. And so, yeah. All right. So we have the seven of cups. <coughs> and, uh, you know, this is really interesting because this is saying that, excuse me, uh, Capricorn. <coughs> this is saying that somebody has seven choices and they're all very different, which is really interesting. It can also be saying, because we have all the signs here, it could also be saying that, uh, you know, these blending of these signs are is what really making is what making somebody's choice, right? And maybe somebody had to kind of mm, blend energies possibly, but, uh, mm -hmm. the sun is at the right here. This is the sun here, the little, you know, the dot in, within the circle. And that is at the center of this reading. 
Uh, and so this is the seven of cups. This is somebody has clarity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. They made this choice and they do have clarity. Uh, unless they're Leo maybe because this, the cup sits at the center here. Yeah, this is about having, making a choice for happiness too. Yes, it is. Uh, and now we see basically, you know, we have the sun over here too. Mm-hmm. So here, Capricorn, here you are showing up as the uh, African warrior, uh, very uh, handsome here and definitely very uh, strong, yeah, for sure. And he's there with these nymphs. I think that's what they're called. This guy's going to play the flute. Uh, he's, uh, he's a ram and I don't know, something else. I guess that's a nymph. And then he's over here and he's going to I don't know, do some tricks or maybe he's bringing him food. Here's some, uh, here's some grapes, but this is about you. And this person is, has some money Capricorn because here we see not only does he hold the pentacle, but you know, there's, there's a bag and a pile full of gold right here, right? I'll take one, right? Yeah. I won't be greedy Capricorn, right? So let's get a couple cards here, but we see somebody offering you this. It may have been a difficult challenge. It could be because there's maybe somebody external. The message of concern is some uh, kind of difficult change. And she's grabbing her heart, basically, or putting her hand. And she doesn't look happy in reading the note. No, she doesn't. Yeah, she said they went off with Capricorn. I mean, that's a, it's definitely a possibility uh, here. And the Seven of Cups and the World card. Yeah, this is making a choice uh, based on maturity based on, uh, I'm going to end a cycle and begin a new one. This is my wish. I've come full circle in my life. Definitely. When we see the world card here with the seven of cups, this is about somebody who feels like they made a wise choice. And the King, here you are Capricorn with the king of wands. So maybe that's you and a fire sign. And now we have, whoops, we have the hierophant. This person looks like they want to marry you. At the very least, they have major faith in you. They believe in you, Capricorn. Yeah. And this is why you're inspire, inspiring them with your, you know, uh, your Coke bottle glasses here, Capricorn, right? With the wings on them. And then, you know, uh, <laughs> and then we have, uh, I better be careful. I don't want to wear those. Right. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. And so this person is inspired by you and they're going to do backflips. So this hierophant means definitely, uh, they really believe in you. They have faith in you guys together. They do. It can mean they want to marry you too. It definitely could. All right. So the King of Wands sits here twice. Uh, he's over here as, you know, kind of a funny looking guy a little bit. Here he is kind of a cutie pie. Yeah, he is with the pirate cards kind of, they're kind of piratey to me. And here is the hanged man. Interesting here. So there could be a Piscean here. There might be a Taurus with the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. A King of Wands could be any fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Over here's the high priestess. This may be Pisces, right? Or Scorpio, I believe. And here's the death card. And that is... Scorpio. Yeah, it is. Or it doesn't have to be, but it, it represents Scorpio. And here's the star representing Aquarius or simply healing and a new beginning. And that is inspiration. Yeah, this guy cracks me up. It's definitely inspiration and a lot of faith and hope here. This person believes in you, Capricorn, the Hierophant and the star. They're like Capricorn is the star, right? Yeah, definitely. My star. The, the hanged man sits here uh, in the past with the king of wands. It's in the upright. Yeah, OMG. So in the upper or the reversed rather, right? He's in the upright because he's a hangman. Okay, and we have the strain card with it. Yeah, somebody uh, kind of, I feel like had an epiphany possibly because he or she is at, at, at one with the universe. And, you know, a lot of people who wake up uh, have a spiritual awakening Sometimes they have the night of the soul to start out, but they end up being at one with the universe. They do. So in the past, somebody had courage here, uh, maybe to sacrifice something definitely could be, uh, cause something could be ending here, especially with this very concerned lady. Yeah. She's not, this is not a love letter and honey, I'll be home. And 
I love you. I've been in New Zealand for, you know, this amount of months or something. No, that's not it. The look on her face is one of sadness a little bit. Yeah. High priestess showing up and it is in the mindset. It is. And here she is. She has a black bean face. Yes, she does. And she's kind of creepy because she doesn't have a face really. And, you know, she has, uh, she's doing a spell here and here's the baby, uh, swaddled. And this is about somebody who is possibly trying to make their, their new, a, a new beginning come true intuitively, or, you know, like in a psychic way, or it can be that, or I believe in that. And, uh, definitely let's get a card on it. And we have the nine of swords. So she, this high priestess is definitely, uh, attracting or not attracting, uh, you know, manifesting the baby here, right? And the baby talks about fertility. It's green, like the swaddling. And so here is, she has her hand on the book and, uh, she's pointing to maybe that's temperance's, uh, uh, kind of possibly, uh, you know, symbol here. It is the, um, and it can also be, yeah, it is the upside down triangle. I'm not sure what that is. I'll be honest with you. Uh, mm -hmm. and here's the wheel of fortune on the other page. Interesting. So, but she's, you know, she's doing, uh, these could be the elements definitely too. They could be right. You know, they might be, they might be metals as well. Uh, and so let's get another card here. Six of swords, Capricorn. You might've been worried here that, you know, that you're not going to manifest this. It's definitely a possibility, uh, and that there won't be change. But it does definitely look like change is going to happen here. Now, maybe you're confused here, Capricorn. That could be the case, like if this is going to happen. The Seven of Cups sometimes is confusion. Uh, it can be. And the Three of Pentacles is here with the High Priestess once more. The Hangman's here, and there could be a Piscean, like, you know, thrice, right? Three times. And here we see... Uh, I don't really mean three, three different women who are, or men who are high priestesses. No, I just mean that there definitely could be a Piscean here in the mix and possibly a Scorpio. So here we see, uh, this is somebody who is trusting their intuition about the value here that you offer Capricorn and, you know, it gets back to them, you know, doing backflips. Yeah. Tell them to do something else too, Capricorn, right? I want you to jump off the bridge right now to show me how much you love me, right? <laughs> no, I don't do that, Capricorn, all right? Yeah. Uh, but here, you know, uh, is this the Hierophant showing up again here? Where's that card? Three of Pentacles. So he's showing these people, Capricorn, uh, these two young people, how like valuable uh, this is. It's a pentacle. Uh, it looks like a pentacle here, but he's definitely, this almost looks like he's showcasing it or he's trying to sell it to them, but he's definitely trying to sell it to them. doesn't have to be money, but, uh, and somebody's going to, this person's going to try to explain to you how much they believe in you because these are pentacles. And this is also about the values. And so they're going to tell you how much they believe in you. Yeah. The star card is here. And, and you could have been a secret, uh, Capricorn, right? I told you about that stuff, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, and so, you know, yeah, <laughs> and eight of wands reversed with the star, and this is uh, the concerning theme here, uh, this is removing blockages possibly, or needing change very badly, and uh, because I'm so inspired, yeah, I want to go paint a picture with Capricorn, or play the violin, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to play the violin, Capricorn. Maybe the guitar, the keyboard, yeah. Ace of Swords, Page of Wands sits in the environment. So here's this cutie page. And, you know, he's usually going on his own new path. That's usually what the Page of Wands is about. And, uh, but he's here with the Cardinal and the two bluebirds. Maybe they're blue jays. Uh, but there's three of them and they're gossiping. And he's trying to hear what they're saying, or they are speaking some wisdom possibly, right? But they're chirping and he's definitely trying to listen to whatever they are doing and trying to understand, trying to understand here. I feel like this talks about communication and that your person wants to hear from you because the eight of wands too, it can sometimes mean reversed, a lack of communication. Ace of Swords showing up in the environment with it. 
Mm -hmm. This person wants, yeah, this person's coming to tell you because he wants these birds to speak up, right? He's trying to listen to this person's coming to tell you that they, that they want a new beginning. Ace of swords here in the environment and the ace of pentacles is the overall energy. This message of concern, I just think it's for somebody else, but it's possible that you might be like thrown by this, right? She's grabbing her heart. Yeah, Capricorn, you know, I don't want you to have a heart attack, all right? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I can't come and rescue you. No, I can't. <laughs> and so this is what's being offered here, right? In the environment. I feel like this person's coming to tell you that they're offering you that. Yeah, definitely. And that they want a new path with you. And they want to hear what you have to say. That's what he's doing. He's trying to hear the birdies, right? And he's like, well, I need to hear what they're going to say, what they're saying about this new opportunity being offered, the Ace of Swords, uh, and about somebody maybe from the past. This person could be a friend. They could be warm and fuzzy. They could be just somebody you're fond of, possibly. doesn't have to be uh, from the past. The Star card, and uh, I, think, I feel like we put the Hierophant with the Star, didn't we? I feel like we did. Yeah, we talked about that. And the temperance here, here's the young temperance. Uh, you know, she's just like Hermes, I guess, with her, uh, you know, her, her wings here on her hat, right? Love it. And so here she is. Oh, she's got the caduceus here. Interesting. And the caduceus is the health, health, uh, the health symbol, right? Medical sometimes still being used. Sometimes you see it on still being used. And, uh, this could be about Virgo because Virgo is about health. And so, uh, it is, that's one of them. And I have the full moon video on my other channel, Divine Soul Astrology. And, uh, I will leave the link in the comments pinned at the top, right? So this can be about health and healing. That's what this person is hoping they can, uh, and you're hoping that too, uh, definitely to heal this and bring balance. Uh, we have the, uh, we have the page of cups now. And so this page of cups, this person's bringing you news. They want to heal the situation. Yeah, definitely. Here's the page next to it. You're going to have news Capricorn. Here's the page of pentacles here. They're coming to tell you that they're going to, they'll do anything. They'll bend over backwards for you. Right. All right. So just make sure they're not wearing a dress. All right, Capricorn. I don't tolerate that. <laughs> and the death card, the queen of cups in the reverse is here. And the king of pentacles. Interesting. So this may be you. There could be a third party here. Uh, interesting with uh, possibly, I mean, in this reading it could be anybody, but it could be you, Capricorn, a water sign, a fire sign. Uh, it could, it could be any. Uh, I don't see the queen or the king of swords in the reading. That's, I feel like that's interesting today. Uh, but the King of Wands is here twice. The King of Pentacles shows up twice. Uh, that is you. And there's a lot of water energy here. So this could definitely be about that. Uh, and this is the death card. And here are two people in the potential outcome. Uh, I would say outcome potential, right? Yeah, kind of. Be, but the death card is here. Um, and, you know, here is the Queen of Cups reversed. Here's the King of Pentacles. This could be an ending right here between a couple. And somebody suffers a little bit more than the other, uh, the queen of cups, because she is reversed. And we have the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. So maybe you are wondering here uh, if this death will, will take place, right? Uh, because we do see a transformation in the overall energy. Yes, we do, Capricorn. Uh, mm -hmm. And we see some blockages or something being lifted, something being kind of left behind. And this person's coming to do backflips for you, Capricorn. So, yeah. So, let me know how they do. Uh, if they have nice legs, right? You can always put that in the comment. We're going to end this reading, Capricorn. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And get your psychic reading, uh, Capricorn. Get your freak on, right? I used to like that by, uh, what was her name? I forgot her name, but I used to like her. So, thanks so much for watching.